Okay, so we're continuing from our last video. We were right here. And it says, if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then the angles are congruent. Well, here's one inscribed angle, angle ACD. Here's another inscribed angle right over here. Let's call ABD, right? Notice how they intercept the same arc. They both intercept that arc. So angle ACD and angle ABD must be congruent. So angle ABD is congruent equals the measure of angle ACD. Okay, let's look at problem number one. Problem number one asks us what the measurement of angle WXY is. Well, if we know its intercepted arc is 62 degrees, we know angle WXY, which is right here, has to be half of 62 degrees. So you can do 62 divided by 2, you're going to get 31 degrees. So this must be 31 degrees. This problem's kind of the other way around. They give you the inscribed angle and they tell you the inscribed angle, angle DEF, is 113 degrees. And they ask you for its intercepted arc. Its intercepted arc is this DGF, this piece of the circle that's right here. So we know that an inscribed angle's measurement is half of its intercepted arc which also means its intercepted arc is double the inscribed angle. So 113 times 2 is going to give us 226 degrees, and that's going to be the measure of the intercepted arc DGF. For number 3, we're looking at angle PQR. Notice that this angle intercepts a diameter. The diameter goes right through the center of the circle and is shown in blue. Do we see how this angle, angle PQR, intercepts the blue diameter? If we know that, we know the intercepted arc over here is 180 degrees because it's a diameter, half a circle. Hence, angle PQR must be a 90 degree angle, which is half of 180 degrees, 90 degrees. Number five is really interesting. This one, they show you an inscribed angle, angle JKL, but we don't know how much the measure of the angle or its intercepted arc is. But they give us information to figure out the intercepted arc. We know that all the way around a circle is 360 degrees. We're given this segment of the circle is 53. This segment of the circle is 65 degrees. So if we take 360 and subtract out 65 degrees and subtract out 53 degrees, we'll have our intercepted arc, which is going to be this blue piece this blue piece right here because that's going to be what's left of the circle after you subtract out 53 and 65. So we do 360, we take out 65, we subtract out 53, and we get 242. That tells us what this, the blue piece is. The problem is they ask for angle JKL. Well, we know that's going to be half of its intercepted arc. So we can take 242, divide that by 2, and we're going to get 121 degrees. And that's going to be the measure of angle JKL.